Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you an Iceland volcanic fissure update. And there we are looking live at the eruption. It hasn't been quite visible for most of the morning because of uh, volcanic ash clouds. The wind is shifting around, but now we have a very good view of the fissure, the size and nature of it, and there are some vehicles down here that are well, quite visible. So we're going to keep a close eye on that during the update, and we're going to bring you up to speed on everything going on with the eruption in Reykjan on the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland. This is They're calling it now the Fagradalsfall uh, eruption. It is part of the Kreisjavik volcanic system. Now, what happened here was a strong seismic swarm started on the peninsula near Fagradalsfall volcano, and this began around July 30th of this year. And this resulted in a new volcanic eruption that started on the 4th of August. And now here we are at the 6th of August. And it looks like this eruption may be going on for quite some time. And we'll tell you why by the end of the podcast. Um, but we're going to go over some interesting maps and facts and everything we know about the volcano up till now. We have the live stream and we'll come back and forth to that. Volcano YT took down their live stream, but... Uh, Akbar Yahya is Volcano YT, I believe, so come subscribe to him, and he's always got that up. Um, and Iceland also put out a 3D map uh, yesterday of the eruption, so you can come look at it from all different angles here, if you're going to go around and hike there. And you can see the dark lava that's not glowing up here is from the last eruption that lasted for six months. So this is the extent of the eruption that lasted six months. The new eruption is to the north of this field. Whoa. This is pretty hard to navigate. <laughs> and so you get the picture. Come play around with it. The link will be below. A 3D map. And this is coming from the Requiena Sagas Tourism Office. Um, and you can access a 3D image of the volcanic eruption in Medaldolom. And this is the Maradalir volcano now is what they're calling it. So here you see the eruptive uh, extent of the first eruption. The new eruption is just up here, this little spot. And if you are traveling there from the southern route, this is the road on the way to Grindavik, or if you're leaving Grindavik, this is where you're going to pull off here, and this is the trail to the new viewing point. We also have a really good 2D map of the extent of the current eruption just after under 36 hours. You can see the 2021 eruption in orange and the 2022 eruption in red on the topo. So most of the people are uh, viewing it from this area. And we also have an update on the geology. So many people saw geologists going there to collect samples the other day on many channels. And these samples are what volcanologists use um, to determine where the lava is coming from. And so the Icelandic Institute of Earth Sciences took some of these samples on the first day of the new eruption. And they looked at mangane uh, magnesium oxide concentrations in rapidly cooled glass. And they were measured at approximately 7.5% with titanium dioxide and potassium oxide at a ratio of 0.25. Now the 2022 lava has a very similar composition of the new eruption. Uh, the new eruption has a similar composition as the last eruption in my bad. Now, what that means is that this is some leftover lava from that magma chamber. So the new magma that caused all the earthquakes and caused this new eruption to occur has not yet come to the surface. So that is a big, big news uh, coming out in just the last 24 hours. The initial lava coming out from this fissure has the same geochemistry as the last eruption, suggesting that it's remnants from the last eruption and that the new magma has not yet reached the surface. And that's big news. More big news is uh, tourists roasting, roasting marshmallows on the volcano. But tourists will be tourists. And you can see the eruption at night from Reykjanes or from Reykjavik. Take a look at that. This is a shot from Reykjavik at the eruption. So this is a much larger eruption than the last one. And we still haven't seen the 
actual magma from this new eruption reached the surface yet. So that means it's going to be lasting for quite some time. And the weather isn't optimal for viewing today. Uh, as you can see, the haze and the lays has moved back into the region. But there are tourists down here with no uh, respirators, no protection whatsoever. And our hearts go out to them because this is not a place you want to be breathing these volcanic gases. They are not good for you. So this eruption will probably be ongoing for weeks or months. And if there are any major changes uh, or we have breaking information like the information we just shared with you and the fact that the magma we're seeing here is just left over from the last eruptive phase and that if there is any new magma that has yet to reach the surface. Um, so we'll be updating you as new information comes to the forefront. And I hope you got something out of the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. And that's a boom to knowledge.